Good day everyone, this is Pauline Ann I. Uroch from BS Ed Science History A. Today, we're gonna discuss about one of the famous and influential artists in the Philippines, which is Pasita Abad. Born in Batanes, Philippines in 1946, Pasita Abad was the daughter of congressman who hoped that she would revise a similar political path. But the course of Pasita's life changed after she started her law studies and began organizing students' demonstration in Manila. Opposing the Marcos regime and protesting fraudulent election in Batanes, her family is targeted with their home in Manila was sprayed with bullets. Because of increased political violence in 1969, her parents argued Pasita to leave Manila and finish her law degree in Spain. On the way to Europe, she stopped to visit a relative in San Francisco and decided to study in America. The move was a huge cultural shock for Pasita. As a sheltered Asian Catholic girl, she plunged into a violent city scene bursting with racial and religious diversity, drugs, music, and political protest. Pasita Abad's constant trouble forced her to set up her studio quickly in order to start painting as soon as possible, and her studio's place was always center of household activity. Pasita's studios and homes were always one entity, as her artwork completely dominated her living environment. With her studio seamlessly falling into the corner of the living space, paintings that are working on her studio would quickly appear on her dining room or living room walls, so that she could see them in a different light and perspective. Pasita filled her home not only with paintings but with brightly painted walls, colorful rugs, handwoven textiles, tribal sculpture, and an abundance of flower, and all of this worked their way into her paintings. People would enter Pasita Studios' home and to be blown away with sensory overload as their eyes don't know where to focus. Pasita Abad and her artwork were actively involved with all the device global communities where artists worked. She willingly developed an inconsiderable amount of time to concisely giving courses, workshops, and lecture about art to a humorous group of people including children, adults, and aged. Pasita believed that everyone, whether young or old, should be able to enjoy and make art, and she did her best to make possible anywhere she wanted. Professionally, she actively engaged with artists and art organizations around the world, joining in group projects and was sought after to participate on art panels and symphonia held by Museum National Art Group of University. Not surprisingly, Pasita received numerous awards during her artist career. Probably her most memorable award was her first when received 1984 Tom's Award of Art in the Philippines in 1985. Tom stands for 10 Outstanding Men and in the awards first 25 years it had always been given to men. Pasita was thrilled by the fact that she had broken the sex barrier and said her acceptance speech that is was overdue that Filipino women were recognized. As the Philippines was full of outstanding women in fair and proudly to her mother, she also proclaimed that Filipino men better watch out because if the future were held by many more women receiving this award that the name might have changed to the Tommy Award. One may consider P. Abad's originally that distinguished her from example, Faith Ringgold, who became particularly recognized in Britain after her 2019 London Restrictive. Another consideration would be remove Patricia Abad production from the decorative sphere in which the abundance of notice repeatedly ad infinitum and various supports could confirm her. Despite Island exhibition provide answers that overcome this possible reservation. The public is invited to wander clockwise around a center room that houses letter works. This circular path revise the narrative showing an intense figurative body of work, while the central room brings together more abstract composition produced by Patricia Abad when she was ill and confirmed to her studio. The fact suggested that there should be between narrative, circular, and abstract central forms. Her approach, her use of swan and painted textile, sometimes redined picturally, 
event in pieces dating from the 1990s sometimes assembled, as can be seen in later works, are highlighted through the exhibition display. It allows busy store to see fragility of the support and the extreme franchise. The works are suspended and move with the air. The presentation of both sides of the works doubles in interest. The reverse side device and obstruction or waving of narrative that is presented on the front. The path the visitor takes brought to life. The resemble refers of a dazzling production, joyful because it's colorful, contagious because it's commitment. The curator of the exhibition have made selection from Patricia Abad's profile body of works in order to organize it around them, risking an imposition of overly interpretative framework. The result of exciting, the piece presentation and innovation of Discover, or Rediscover, an artist who completely distinct from Trilly figure. Her painting is sequenced by constant changes, experimentation, and development, and her works cover such subjects primitive masks, underwater scene, tropical flowers, and wild animals, as well as including the number of small colleges. And that's all for today. I hope you like it. This is Pauline Ann Ayurat again from BSN Sciences 3A. Thank you for listening.